Hello dosto, welcome to Technology Universe. In this video we are going to discuss on Java projects. Basically on banking system, hotel management system, quiz competition system, railway booking system, restaurant billing system and school billing system. Not only that, I would also provide you with a PDF that contains these following things. Let's see the output of the programs one by one. The first one is the banking system one where you would be able to create account, deposit amount, withdraw, change the pin, change the password and view the account balance. And if you press any other keys, you will exit from this application. This is a console based application based on input output via console using buffer reader class. This is basically for school students and you can get the full source course and the full uh, PDF uh, from the description links that have been provided. Watch the video till the end to get the total details. Next one we are going to see the demo of the application hotel management system where you will be able to book the different kinds of rooms maybe of deluxe room, single occupancy, double occupancy and so on. The price is chart, the first the menu is given, it's the console input program here also and you will also get the bill printed at the last. Next one is the quiz competition system where you would be able to host the quiz competition. There is a txt file that contains all the questions and the options and the application is reading from that file and then it's uh, interacting in the comment prompt and after that you would also get a scorecard here. Isn't it a very reactive application in the comment prompt? So you are getting this whole uh, quiz being conducted in the comment prompt you can see and you are getting a scorecard at the end. Next one is the railway ticket booking system where you can book the tickets for different uh, uh, journeys. Here is a chart that you can also edit this chart when from the array that has been provided in the program source code. You can also change the station and the fares there. So we are selecting the number of passengers and we are also selecting return ticket or not, express ticket or not. So this type of logic has been implemented in the program. And you can see the bill is also getting printed, the ticket is also getting printed. The next one is the restaurant billing system where uh, you will be able to order the foods and you can see the menu chart is also printed here and the price is also there you can also edit this in the array that we have used inside the program so you would be able to put the inputs like how many dishes which one you want to have and then you the bill also gets printed there and you it would go on until you press uh, no so or press n so it would keep on coming in the comment prompt it's a console input user defined uh, methods are also used there so you can see the bill is getting printed and the bill number is also generated which I have done with the help of mat.random method to generate a random integer set. Next one is the school billing system project where you would be able to pay the fees for different students. So there are a couple of inputs that are required like the registration number, the name of the student, the class, the section and based on the class I have set some logic like for students above class 8 you would be having lab fees. Uh, you have be having the computer lab fees and maintenance and all those stuff whereas if you select uh, uh, classes lower than 8 then you would not be able to pay the fees for the lab because you don't have lab below class 8 so this type of logics are also implemented you can also edit and customize according to your needs but here is the basic structure you see the bill is also getting printed now let's see the sample pdf that i would be providing you you would be having the title page where you can put your inputs like name, registration, roll number and your school details you will be having acknowledgement, contents, introduction, uh, approach, the approach of the program and the methods that used and you will also get the source code printed over there as well and I would also provide you the .java file and you can see the output is also pasted there you can get that and all these stuffs you are going to get in the description links individual links has been provided and also follow the instructions in the blog post and you can get that 